And then down here are the student blogs. So you'll see right now the student blogs are set up with absolutely no names. So if I am going to pretend to be student one, and students will, will be assigned a number and given login and, and uh, password information. So this is the blog that's been pre-set up for student one. So again, no name on it at all, and even when logging in, there's absolutely no um, no personal information, no names being used un unless students change that information in which they'll need parent permission to do that. So when you go into their blog, this is the dashboard. And they can s go back and see your blog this way for students. So here's your blog, what it looks like. And then you go into your dashboard. And this is how you edit your blog or change your blog. So the first thing students will probably want to do is go in and change your themes. And here you can see that we're on the EduBlog's default theme right now. So you can choose any of these different themes. And if you want to take a look and see what a theme looks like, you go Live Preview. And here you take a look and see, yes or no, you don't like it. So I'm going to cancel that and just keep it here so that whoever is assigned a one can actually change their theme to what they like. Once you have your theme chosen, you can go to Widgets. You can also access Widgets over here. And here's where you look at the sidebars of your page. So this one has recent comments on your blog, text that says welcome to your brand new blog if you wanted to edit that or to delete that you can. So I close this little box. Again, there's another sidebar for this theme. So I'll show you what these widgets are. You can drag widgets over. You can choose different ones to bring over. Text, categories for your blog, menus, pages. So just to go back to the blog. So the widgets are like this, the search widget, recent posts widget, that's just a, a text, like a silly one. Here's the text widget, categories, and then meta. Just different widgets you can choose to delete or keep. We'll go back into the dashboard, so that'll just be some playing around, and we'll talk about widgets in class lots, but uh, just to get a general sense. So under appearance, we can go to menus, and menus will actually skip. If you have problems right now, if I go to my blog, you'll see there's a sample page up here. And any new pages you make for your blog will show up up here. But if you've chosen a theme that that's not working, um, some themes don't have a menu bar across the top, you might have to go into that menus area to do some editing. But here is that sample page. And then go back to the home for the blog. Go back to the dashboard. Actually, I'm going to go into the themes again just to show you some of the. If you go to the theme, you can customize it. I forgot to do this earlier. So here's where you choose colors the image, which is the header image up here, um, and your um, site title and tagline. So if you want to change it from my blog and just another, you could put, if you've, if you've decided to use your first name, I could put Jacqueline's blog. But that's only if I have parent permission. If I don't want to use my name, I could put my science blog, science rocks, or whatever I want to call it. Anything creative, choose colors for the for the text and that type of thing. So that's under your customize for your whip theme. So we have our themes, header, background, different things, widgets, and our menus there. And if you want to create new pages, go to pages. We'll get to this later on. We won't do this right now, but we will show you how to make a post. Okay, so if I want to make a post, I can, first of all, this right here, Hello World, is that, let's go back and take a look at the blog. That's this one here. There's the one they put up at the beginning. So what I would recommend is when you're in the dashboard, trash that. I'm not going to do it just because this will be a student's blog. Um, but you can trash that and then you can add a new post and under adding a new post you can 
type info here. You can bold. You can italicize. And you can add a link by highlighting the text, choosing the link, and we can put it our uh, we can put in a link, and we can make that open up in a new tab or a new window. And there we go. So once I've finished my post, I can add tags to it if I have a topic. Intro. I could add that as a tag if I wanted to. So I could search for it later. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I could submit this one for review. And then it will. There we go. If I go into my posts now. Uh, you can see that it is there and that it'll come to me as a teacher and I'll just go in and approve it as it comes through. But all your posts will end up showing up here and then it'll show up in your blog. So I'm actually going to trash this one just because we don't need it. But so that's the general ins and outs of your blog. I'm going to show you one other thing and this is a bit of a higher function, but I think it's something that we will be using in class if I want to embed a video. So let's go to YouTube for now. And I'm going to search and we're going to do lab safety. Okay, let's say that this lab safety video is a great video that we want to post on our blog and either talk about or critique or yeah, use to start a conversation. And click share, click embed, and there's this crazy code here. All you're going to do is copy it. Okay, um, so just copy, and then we're going to go back to our blog, and we're going to go to add a new post. Um, lab safety video, so I title my new post. And here I'm going to go check out this video. And I mean, I could put much more in depth information there. Now I'm going to click on HTML over here, and it's going to show me the code for that post. I don't have to know the, the code, I don't have to care about the code. All I have to do is paste that silly embed code right there, and then Submit. Okay, so that's the basics of your blog. And each student will have a blog, and we will just get it started and get it up and running, and we will be throwing up our first post shortly after you've chosen your theme and, and whatnot.